In this video, we're going to explain what a research proposal is in the context of a typical dissertation, thesis, or academic research project. We'll unpack the key contents of the proposal with clear, practical examples so you can craft a convincing proposal. Now, if you're new to the oftentimes intimidating world of academic research, be sure to hit that subscribe button for loads of plain language, actionable advice. Also, if you're working on a dissertation or thesis proposal, grab our free proposal template along with chapter templates for the rest of your project. You can find the links to those down in the description. So what exactly is a research proposal? Well, a research proposal is simply a structured formal document that explains what you plan to research, in other words, your research topic, why it's worth researching, and how you plan to investigate it. So basically, your methodological approach. As with all things research related, it's useful to first understand the purpose the proposal serves, its job, so to speak. The purpose of the research proposal is to convince your research supervisor or university that your study is suitable, given the requirements of the degree program, and manageable, given the time and resource constraints you'll face. The most important word here is convince. Your proposal needs to sell your research idea to whoever is going to approve it. If it doesn't convince them, you'll need to revise and resubmit. That'll cost you valuable time, which will either delay the start of your project or eat into its time allowance. Either way, it's bad news, so you want to aim for a rock-solid proposal that gets approved the first time around. So what exactly goes into the proposal? Well, as I mentioned, you need to cover the what, the why, and the how of your planned research. So let's dig into each of those a little deeper. Number one, the what. First up, your proposal needs to clearly articulate your research topic. This needs to be specific and unambiguous, stating exactly what you plan to research and in what context. Here's an example of a well-articulated topic. An investigation into the factors which impact female Gen Y consumers' likelihood to promote a makeup brand to their peers, a British context. As you can probably see, this topic is extremely specific. From one line, we can see exactly what's being investigated, factors that make people promote a brand of makeup, who it involves, female Gen Y consumers, and in what context, the United Kingdom. So make sure that your research proposal provides a clear explanation of your research topic. Ideally, you should express your topic in the form of research aims, objectives, and research questions. But in some cases, these will only be finalized following a comprehensive literature review. So check with your university what their expectations and norms are. Also, be sure to check out our video explaining research aims and objectives if you're unsure how to craft these. Number two, the why. Clearly articulating your research topic is the first step but justifying that topic is just as important. Specifically, you need to explain how your research will be unique and how it will contribute something new to the existing literature. What gap in the current literature will it fill? If it's just a lazy rehash of existing research, it's probably not going to get approval. It needs to be fresh. But originality alone is not enough. You also need to justify why your proposed topic is valuable or important. In other words, what value will it add to the world if you manage to find the answers to your research questions? For example, sticking with the topic we mentioned earlier, factors impacting makeup brand advocacy, in this case, identifying the relevant factors would be really useful to marketers in the cosmetics industry and would, therefore, have commercial value. So when you're crafting your research proposal, remember that it's not enough for a topic to simply be unique. It needs to be useful and value creating. And you need to convey that value in your proposal. By the way, if you're struggling to find a research topic that meets these criteria, check out our video covering how to find a high quality research topic. Right, let's look at the final essential ingredient for a winning proposal. 
Number three, the how. Of course, it's all good and well to have a great topic that's specific, original, and valuable, but you're not going to convince anyone to approve it if it's not practical. So your research proposal needs to detail your intended methodological approach. Here are some important questions you'll need to address. Will you take a qualitative or quantitative approach? Will your time horizon be cross-sectional or longitudinal? Who or where will you collect data from? How will you collect your data? For example, interviews, surveys, etc. How will you analyze your data? For example, qualitative content analysis, statistical analysis, etc. While it's not generally expected that you'll have a fully fleshed out research design at the proposal stage, you'll need to provide at least a high level view of your approach so that your institution can assess its viability. So make sure you give some thought to the practicalities of your research and have at least a basic understanding of research design before you start writing up your proposal. By the way, if some of this terminology sounds like gibberish to you, check out our Research Methodology 101 video. The link is in the description as always. All right, so let's recap. A research proposal is a formal document that explains what you will research, why it's worth researching, and how you plan to investigate it. Now remember, different universities and programs will have varying requirements in terms of how much detail they expect in a proposal, so be sure to follow their guidelines. You can also check out our video that explains how to write a research proposal step by step and grab our free proposal template. I'll include links to those below. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button and leave a comment. For more videos like this, check out the Grad Coach channel and subscribe for plain language, actionable research tips and advice every week. Also, if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one support with your proposal, be sure to check out our private coaching service where we hold your hand throughout the research process step by step. You can learn more about that and book a free initial consultation at gradcoach.com.